Former Mountain West football players are just days away from taking the next steps in their football careers as they are eagerly awaiting NFL Draft Day. Soon they'll join former Mountain West greats like Derek Carr and Jay Ajayi who recently made a significant impact in the NFL. To give us some insight on who might be the first Mountain West players drafted by NFL teams, we brought in our draft expert, Ted Sundquist, who is a former NFL general manager, won a Super Bowl, also with the Denver Broncos. Before we jump into your Mountain West draft board, let's talk about some of your top finds as an NFL executive. In the sixth round, you drafted a guy named Terrell Davis, who recently was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. In 2002, in the second round, you drafted Clinton Portis out of Miami, who went on to win the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year and went to two Pro Bowls before he was used as trade bait for the great exactly. Champ Bailey. Not too bad. And in 2006, in the fourth round, you drafted Brandon Marshall out of Central Florida, who has gone on to six Pro Bowls in his career. Not bad credentials as an executive, a guy who sat in a war room drafting future NFL players. What's the secret to finding these guys and bringing them into the NFL? You know, Jesse, that's three of probably over 150 guys that I drafted or signed as uh, college free agents over the course of 16 NFL drafts. And I think key to the entire process, whether you're the Denver Broncos or the Arizona Cardinals, San Francisco 49ers, is for the personnel department and your scouts be on the exact same page as your coaching staff to really understand the types of players that they want out there on the field regardless of position and then to understand each position how those coaches break that position down whether it's quarterback wide receiver running back you notice on my favorite three there that two were running backs yeah. well there's a few others there when you think of Landis Gary Mike Anderson uh, Quentin Griffin some guys that we brought in through the draft that were extremely successful as Broncos I think that came down to understanding as a scouting staff exactly what we were trying to do in that West Coast offense and the type of player that we needed to execute that running game. The old best player available, that's who you take, right? Let's jump into those guys from Mountain West institutions who you think will make a significant impact and will be the first off of the board. The first guy is a guy who terrorized Mountain West quarterbacks. He's a two-time defensive player of the year. He's out of San Diego State. Yeah, DeMonte KZ. He's a 5'10", 184-pound corner out of San Diego State. Two-time Mountain West defensive player of the year. And you talk about an aggressive playmaker. Seven picks tied him for second in the nation in 2016 with eight pass breakups. Over that three-year period as a letterman, 43 PBUs and 16 interceptions. This is a taller guy, very instinctive, got excellent break on the ball. He's not afraid to come up and support the run. Again, I talked about his aggressiveness. He turns big plays, he creates turnovers. He's the type of guy that could quickly come in for an NFL club as that fifth defensive back, maybe play a little bit of nickel, contribute on special teams, and really make his name in creating big plays. Second player off your draft board, also played football on the Mesa. He's an Aztec and a guy that has a name that is very familiar in the NFL world. Yeah, he really does. Nico Siragusa, interior offensive lineman, offensive guard, San Diego State. Six foot four, 319 pounds. He already has the frame and the makeup that those power teams in the NFL are looking for on their interior offensive line. Third team, AP All-American, a two-time Mountain West first team selection. This guy's a big leader in the locker room. Well-respected, a three-year starter for the Aztec, Aztecs. Strong, inline, good drive blocker, the type of guy that the Dallas Cowboys like to mash you with on the inside. So those teams that really want a power run game on the inside are gonna like a guy like Nico. You speak of that run game, and the Mountain West had three of the top six rushers in the NCAA last year. The next three off of your draft board are all running backs, the first out of Boise State, and he's a guy that not only can hit the holds very quickly, but he's very good catching the ball out of the backfield. Yeah, absolutely. Jeremy McNichols, running back, Boise State, five foot nine, 214 pounds. You talk about him catching the ball, 10 inch hands. He's in the line of Jay Ajayi talked about, but also Doug Martin, a big time producer for the Broncos. Two-time second team Mountain West Conference selection, 2,200 plus all-purpose yards. He averaged 136 yards per game in 2016, rushing the ball. Caught 37 receptions for four touchdowns. This is a very sudden and fluid, flexible running style back. Great vision and instincts, 
very versatile player. He's a type of guy you can move around in multiple formations, different positions, really mismatched creator for an offensive coordinator in the NFL. Line him up out in the slot, put him in motion, get a linebacker on him and let him catch that ball in the open field and then take off and go. Number four on your Mountain West draft board is a guy who changed the culture in Laramie, a running back who led the Cowboys right up to the top, played in the Mountain West championship game. He's out of Laramie. Brian Hill, running back, Wyoming, six foot one, 219 pounds. Now he's got the build of an every down back. An early out junior, he got first team accolades this year as a Mountain West uh, player on the offensive side. 1,860 yards rushing, 22 touchdowns for Craig Bowles Cowboys, who were the Mountain Champs and faced San Diego State in that Mountain West championship game. Got good size, nice lower body strength, really accelerates well to the edge and he sets up his blocks outside for big games. Doesn't put the ball on the ground. Get this, only one fumble and 349 carries in 2016. The other thing that jumps out to me about Brian Hill, he loves the game of football. This is a tough, hard-nosed guy. He'll stand in there and block for his quarterback against the blitz. This is a guy, much like Mike Anderson, Orlandis Gary, those guys that I was talking about, that you could find in that fourth round, and he might be your ball toter for the next four or five years. Last but not least on your top five is the NCAA's all-time leader in career rushing yards. This guy, Donnell Pumphrey, San Diego State, gets me so excited. Again, you talk about the NFL and trying to create mismatches, moving players around. He may be little, but he packs a punch in his ability to take the ball downfield. 5'8", 176 pounds. Do I have him too early right now? Some people will say, how do you draft a guy like that that's at that size? No, I don't think so. He's a playmaker. You mentioned the top rusher in FBS history, an All-American this past year, 2,133 yards on the ground and 17 touchdowns. Mountain West Offensive Player of the Year, defended his title and from 2015. And again, an explosive playmaker. He's patient, then he accelerates through the hole. He's not gonna let you catch him once in the, he's in the open field. Tremendous vision and agility to the hole. Freaky cutting ability. This guy is a mismatch maker and the type of guy that offensive coordinators and clubs are looking for in that fourth or fifth round that they can bring in as a change of pace back. Again, try to create those mismatches, put him up against linebackers who can't cover him and let him go the distance. So to recap your top five on your Mountain West board, you've got Demonte Casey out of San Diego State, Nico Saragusa out of San Diego State, Jeremy McNichols out of Boise State, Brian Hill out of Wyoming, and then Donnell Pumphrey also out of San Diego State. But when it comes to the NFL draft, teams are built when they find those diamonds in the rough, because that really what backfills a roster, and you were very good at that in your career. Who are some of the guys in the Mountain West that will still hear their name called that probably could make a significant impact for an NFL team? Well, as an old Air Force Academy guy, I got to mention Jalen Robinette. I mean, he did a fantastic job over the course of the All-Star season. Really thought I thought that he did a great job showing his skills. A big guy at six foot three, about 220 pounds. He comes out of that Georgia Tech. You know, Andre Johnson, the uh, Maris Thomas uh, mold, a guy who brought up in an option offense, doesn't really know how to run routes all that effectively, but if you have some patience and let him get out there and learn and develop a little bit, I think Jalen Robinette's gonna be a steal. Talk about uh, linebackers, Munson out of San Diego State, you got Davis at Colorado State, a number of really good linebackers in the Mountain West Conference. Look for those guys to have their names called somewhere on that second, third day of the draft. It's always an exciting time to watch former Mountain West players take the next step and really live out their dream as NFL draft picks. The NFL draft does kick off on Thursday, April 27th for the latest news on who's going where as it relates to Mountain West players going to the NFL draft. Follow us on our social media channels, including Facebook. For Ted Sundquist, I'm Jesse Kirch. Thanks for watching this presentation of the Mountain West Network.